Hey guys, this is Dan. I had a bunch of questions about equivalence point, so I just thought I would do a brief tutorial. So essentially, um, the equivalence point is reached when the number of moles of your uh, what you're trying to titrate uh, is equal to the number of moles of what you're titrating it with. Um, and by that I mean, if you have a base and, and you have five moles of that, then you're going to need to add five moles of, of your acid to reach your equivalence point. So in this scenario, we've got HBr and CH3 and H2. HBr is a strong acid, so it's going to fully dissociate. That means that there's going to be no acid left by the time that it fully dissociates. And so essentially, uh, instead of looking at this equation, which I think is what confused a lot of you, you're actually going to be looking at the, this equation right here. Um, and so you've got uh, an acid over here. Uh, this will help you find your pH and the BR remember is just a spectator around because the uh, conjugate base of a strong acid is going to be a weak base um, so essentially if you just look at this part of the equation that is going to be what you're trying to what you're trying to set your ka equal to um, so you're going to have the number of moles that you had up here because they're both equal this fully dissociates and so the number of moles here is actually going to be equal to the number of moles that you started with because of that full dissociation. So hopefully you can get with your friends and uh, solve this problem. I gave everyone the phone numbers of everyone in the lab, at least for my group, so that should at least get you guys working together. Um, and the second part of the problem was HNO3 and NH3 and it's a very similar problem because you don't have to do anything with HNO3 um, because it's going to fully dissociate into uh, H plus and NO3 minus. Um, so essentially you're going to be left with NH3 and hydrogens, which are going to become NH4s and NH3s. Um, now if you have more H pluses than NH3s, you're actually going to have no NH3s left, but you don't have more, uh, you're actually going to have more NH3s, which means you're going to have some NH3s left over and a lot of NH4. So then your final reaction will look like this, NH3 plus water becomes NH4 and OH minus, and that will help you find your concentration of OH um, using your KB value because it's a base versus your KA value up here because it was an acid reaction, um, dissociating into an acid, down here it's dissociating into a base. So hopefully that explains it enough to you guys that you can get together with others and um, figure it out. Let me know if you guys are still having a lot of problems, but that should that should pretty much do it. Um, you know, like I said, work it out with some some friends. If if you guys can't figure it out, try contacting some more people in the lab and seeing if you guys can get the answer. All right, good luck.